Good morning students. Welcome to chemistry class. We are doing chapter states of matter. In this video we will discuss about ideal gas equation. PV is equal to nRT. This is our ideal gas equation where P is pressure, V is volume, N is number of moles, R is universal gas constant and T is temperature. The values of R in terms of different units of pressure and volume are given in the table. So you all are advised to please note down the value of R. Because when we will solve numericals based on ideal gas equation, then depending upon the units in which pressure and volume is given to us in the numerical, we have to use the appropriate value of R. Calculate the total number of gas molecules in a room of capacity 25 meter cube at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius and 1 atm pressure. So students in this numerical we are given value of P which is 1 atm, V is 25 into 10 raised to power 3 liters, R depending on the value of P and V we have taken value 0 0.082 liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole. Temperature is again given to us. It is given 27 degrees Celsius. So converting it into Kelvin scale, it will be 300 Kelvin. Now we will be using the equation PV is equal to NRT. P is given to us, V is given to us, R also and T as well. So putting value of P, V, R and T, we will find out N and N is the number of moles of gas and the value of n comes out to be 1016 mole. Now as in the numerical you can see they have asked about number of molecules. So what we have calculated just now we have calculated moles. So we need to find out the number of molecules and how we can find out number of molecules of gas will be equal to n that is number of moles multiplied by 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 and the answer which we will get is 6.119 into 10 raised to power 26 molecules. Now let's solve numerical on the basis of combined gas law. A sample of gas occupies a volume of 512 ml at 20 degrees Celsius and 74 centimeter of mercury as pressure what volume would this gas occupy at STP? So we will use combined gas law here. P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon T2. So P1 V1 and T1 is our initial conditions. So P1 given to us is 74 centimeter of mercury. T1 is 20 degrees Celsius converting it into Kelvin scale. It will come out to be 293 Kelvin and V1 is 512 ml. Final conditions as P2, T2. So in numerical you can see they have mentioned at STP. So P2 will be 76 centimeter of mercury. T2 is 273 Kelvin and V2 we need to find out. So using the equation P1, V1 upon T1 is equal to P2, V2 upon T2. So we have value of P1, V1 and T1. We have value of P2 and T2 and we need to find out V2 that is final volume. So putting all the values we will get value of final volume which is equal to 464.5 ml. Now let's solve next numerical. 35 ml oxygen gas were collected at 6 degrees Celsius and 758 mm pressure. Calculate its volume at NTP. So here we will use equation P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon T2. V1 is 35 ml. P1 is 758 mm and T1 we are given 6 degrees Celsius. Converting it into Kelvin scale it will come out to be 279 Kelvin. Now final conditions as it is mentioned in the numerical NTP means normal temperature and pressure. So P2 is 760 mm, T2 is 273 Kelvin and V2 we have to find out. So putting the value of P1, V1, T1, P2 and T2 
we will get value of V2 is 34.16 ml. Gases which strictly follows the ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT is called ideal or perfect gas. Actually, no gas is ideal or perfect in nature under ordinary conditions. Real gases do not obey ideal gas equation at all conditions of temperature and pressure. We can see that, we can understand that from the graph given. For ideal gases, PV is equal to constant for any pressure. So the graph obtained must be a straight line parallel to the pressure axis. Now here you can see in this graph, for H2 and helium, PV increases with increase of pressure. So you can see there is a deviation from the ideal behavior. For CO and CH4, the value of PV first decreases, reaches a minimum value and then increases. So these gases are also showing deviation from the ideal behavior. So students, for ideal gases, the value of Z that is compressibility factor which is equal to PV upon NRT is 1. Whereas for real gases, the value of Z that is compressibility factor is not equal to 1. So either it is more than 1 or less than 1. Z is greater than 1, it means the gas shows positive deviation from ideal behavior and is less compressible. And in case Z is less than 1, it means the gas shows negative deviation from ideal behavior and is more compressible. It is observed that deviations from the gas law are under high pressure and low temperature. Van der Waal suggested that these deviations are due to the two faulty assumptions of kinetic theory of gases. The first is volume occupied by gas molecule is negligibly small as compared to the total volume occupied by the gas. And the second one is the forces of attraction between gas molecules are negligible. Volume correction. Van der Waal assumed that molecules of a real gas are rigid spherical particles which possess a definite volume. Thus, the volume of a real gas, that is the volume available for compression, is the actual volume minus the volume occupied by the gas molecules. So if B is the effective volume of the molecules per mole of the gas, then the ideal volume for the gas equation is V minus B. And for N mole of the gas, it will be V minus NB. Pressure correction. A molecule in the interior of the gas is attracted by other molecules on all sides. So these forces are not effective in the interior as equal and opposite forces cancel each other. However, a gas molecule which is close to the wall of the vessel and is going to strike the wall of the vessel will experience an inward pull due to unbalanced attractive forces. So therefore, this molecule will strike the wall with less momentum and the observed pressure will be less than the ideal pressure. So P ideal is equal to P observed plus P prime. So here P dash that is P prime is the pressure correction. The attractive force exerted on a single molecule about to strike the wall is proportional to the number of molecules per unit volume in the bulk of the gas and the second is number of molecules striking the wall which so pressure correction p prime is equal to a upon v square where a is a constant depending upon the nature of the gas and v is the volume of one mole of the gas so, and thank you so much